Creatives with AI Podcast, the spiritual home of creatives curious about AI and its role in their future. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Creatives with AI. I'm your host, David. And today I want to talk about empire building. Specifically, I want to talk about where the podcast is going, who it's going with, how it's going, and who's coming along for the ride. So I think I've mentioned across many of the shows that I'm working on building an entire podcast network, and that network is called With AI FM. And the idea behind that is that instead of just having one show that's creatives and then, well, when I started the Creatives with AI sh podcast, I talked to a whole bunch of different people. And what I realized very quickly was that I think different verticals need to have their own special conversations about the impact of AI on that particular industry. For example, the impact of AI on the legal uh, industry, lawyers, the courts, all that sort of stuff is very, very different than the effect that AI is going to have on education, which is very, very different than the impact that AI is going to have on artists. And Creatives with AI wasn't, I wanted to talk to more people about different issues in different types of industries. And it, it became evident over the time that really I needed to have individual shows for each one of those. So I set up with AI FM and the idea is, is that that will be the podcast network that all of the different vertical shows will fall under. And as many of you know, we already have women with AI. That was the very first one. And I set that one up first because in my mind, that was the next most important group I thought in my mind, because a lot of the different industries and a lot of the different businesses and a lot of the different roles that people were doing that were going to be affected by AI were heavily populated by women in the workplace. And so I thought it was, or at least I felt that way. The stats could prove me wrong, but in my personal anecdotal experience, it seems to be that way. So I wanted to start having that conversation as soon as possible, and I found an amazing host, Joanna Shilton. And if you haven't listened to that show, it's definitely worth listening to. She's got some amazing guests. But I wanted to do more shows, and I wanted to grow the network. So I've been quietly looking for new hosts and for new topics and for new verticals in the background. And it looks like I have two new shows coming. Uh, one will be Law or Lawyers with AI. We haven't decided on the name yet. And another one will be around relationships. And it's not just romantic relationships, but all sorts of relationships. So relationships between people, between businesses, and, and all that sort of stuff. And, and the lady who wants to host that is an amazing, amazing person, and she's going to be fantastic. I have a, a fantastic lawyer um, who's actually been on the show before, so spoiler alert. Um, I'll, we'll get into who those people are going to be and who the hosts are going to be and all that maybe in another, at another time. But right now I just want to talk about the theory of all of what's happening anyway. So, um, law with AI hopefully will come on after the summer. So we're looking at September, October time. We'll launch that show and the same with relationships. And the other one that I really, really want to do as soon as possible is education, because I think... I think the impact that AI is already having and is going to have on education at all levels, whether it be from primary school to secondary school, high school, university, postgrad, all of it. And it's not just students, it's students, it's teachers, it's parents, it's legislators, it's everything. And I think it's, it's going to be super important to have a discussion about that. I don't have a show, a host for that show yet. So if anybody out there really wants to, would like to host that, um, reach out to me, send me a DM, find me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn's probably the best place and let me know. I have a couple of people in mind that I think might be interesting to host the show and I'm going to reach out to them soon and see if I can see if they're interested. And if they're not, that's okay. Um, the other thing I'm looking for is sponsors. 
So if I'm going to have four or five shows running at the same time with, you know, we're going to have to manage all the guests. We're going to have to do all the production for all the shows. We do record video for all the shows and, you know, that has to go up on YouTube and there's a lot of video processing that goes on in the background. We're going to need to do, you know, some marketing work. We're going to need to bring the brand together a little bit more. And I'll talk about that in a minute. So we're also looking for sponsors and we've, we've started some discussions with some people about some of the shows, but we haven't, you know, we don't, the ink's not dry with anyone. No one's signed up yet. So if, if you would be willing, or you know, anybody who might be interested in sponsoring creatives, um, women with AI, lawyers with AI, relationships with AI, education with AI, or some other vertical that I haven't mentioned yet that your company or someone that you know would want to host a, a conversation or sponsor a, a conversation, or if you know of a company that might want to sponsor all of it and just sponsor the network and then have ads that run across all the shows, then I'd, you know, I'm also looking for someone to do that as well. And I think if, if I could get a sponsor or two for each show, or maybe a headline sponsor that wanted to sponsor the whole network, then that would take us to the next level. And that would give me the ability to hire someone to, even if it's part-time, just to be able to, to, sorry, it's got bees on me, uh, to hire someone, whether it's part-time to help with the guest management, because guest management across five shows is going to be very time consuming and it's going to be difficult to keep track of everyone's calendars. But also if I could have somebody, a dedicated person who could do all of the video editing all the time and I could work with them. They could get to know how I like to edit things and how we like the shows to be. That would just, that would accelerate everything and it would take us to the next level. And it would really, really make, I think, I don't think the shows are bad at the minute, but it could make them that much better. And I really want to have the highest quality shows that I can. I want it to be authentic and I want it to be real. And I want, you know, I don't, we're not professional BBC, you know, broadcasters. So I, I'm not worried about that, but that doesn't mean that it shouldn't look good and it shouldn't sound great and that we can't do amazing looking graphics and we can't have a nice high production value so that when people watch it, it's enjoyable and, you know, they want to watch another one. So that's a big thing. So I am actively now looking for sponsors. So if anybody can help with that, please do. On, so the next thing I guess is since I'm now bringing on several shows, most of the other podcasts that are going to come on are all shows that run every other week. Creatives is the only one that runs every week. And I tell all of my clients and I always say to everybody, you should never go backwards. It's always better to speed up than it is to slow down. But in this particular instance, I think it probably is better to slow down. So I'm going to go on creatives to every other week to match the cadence of the other shows. And I think that j just for consistency and for everything else, I think it's going to be better that way. And it will give us a little bit more breathing space to give us time to edit and also to get people booked in and to not be too pressured with what's going on, particularly since we have so many shows. So this, after this week, there'll probably be a break. And then next week I'll start back up again, or I don't know, I'll have to look and see. I want to plan out what days the shows are going out. I don't want to have two shows going out on the same day. And at the minute, I would like to offset with women with AI so that we have one one week and one the next. So what you'll get is you'll get podcasts coming from with AI FM once a week, but they will be different shows every other week. And then as we add more, they'll come on different days. So um, women is goes out on Wednesdays. Uh, my show goes out on creatives, goes out on Fridays. Relationships may go out on Saturday. Law may go out on Thursday and we'll start to stagger them so that you'll get two a week and then you'll get three a week. And as we add more, and that gives us in theory, up to 14 shows we could do on different topics and still not be putting out two shows a day, which I think is ideal. And that, so that gives us plenty of room to grow. 
so yeah so from this week next week there won't be well maybe there will because i want to make sure the weeks are right um but that also i think that each show having its own little universe and its own social media feed and its own web pages and its own LinkedIn pages and its own all of that, I think that that's going to become really unwieldy to try and deal with. So what I'm thinking is, is that all the shows will be pushed out and published under a single social media account, which is with AIFM. So all the show announcements will come from there. All the conversations will happen there. We'll have one Instagram account for that. We'll probably end up setting up a TikTok account for that. We'll have a Twitter. We already have a Twitter account for that. We already have a LinkedIn page for that. So I think that that's probably what we're going to do. And we're going to start to just consolidate all of that into with AI. The other thing I would like to do is I would like to start a mailing list and potentially a newsletter that comes out. So since we're going to have all the shows running under with AI, what we could do is we could go to just having a weekly newsletter that comes out on a Friday or something and says, look, here's the news from the week. So these were the podcasts that were posted. Here's some news. Here's some events that are coming up. We can talk about things like podcasting events and we can talk about AI events. And if our hosts are going to be at attending any events or they're going to be anywhere that you might be able to meet them. So I think all of that would be would fit really nicely in a newsletter. And so I'm going to I'm going to go back and reconfigure all of the show notes and everything. I'm going to reconfigure all the links, all the updates, all the everything into um just coming from with AIFM. Now, I should point out that that doesn't mean the feeds, the the actual podcasts themselves on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. The Apple and Spotify shows will always be their own individual show, so you can subscribe to whatever is your own interest. The YouTube channel will always have all the videos, but it'll have separate playlists. So if you're only interested in law, you only have to look at law. You can just go go to the web page, select the playlist that's the legal playlist, and then you'll only get those ones, or you'll only get education if that's what you're interested in. And I will set up the mailing list so that if you only want to get updates about one particular one, maybe we can do that. It depends on what tool I use, I think. So anyway, that that's what I like to do, but I just want to make it really clear. So Pretty much the marketing side and the website and all that sort of stuff will all run. Well, I'm going to consolidate all of that into just with AI FM and the shows themselves, the podcasts themselves and the videos and everything will run under their own channels like they already do now. So that won't change. The other thing that might change is also some of the cover art and the branding because I think if we're going to, I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. But I'm looking into it. So I guess the thing is, don't be surprised if you see a change. I'm of two minds. I sort of like the, I like the cover art that I did for creatives and that we do women and that we do law and that we do all the other ones so that they have a consistent look and feel so that if somebody's going and they're searching for it, they all have a similar look and feel. And I kind of like, I'm not sure I want to change what I've already got because it's starting to become recognized and it's a bit of a, it's got a bit of a brand to it. The With AI FM logo is different than, and the cover art that I would use if we had, if it had its own podcast, for example, is a little bit different. So I haven't really come to terms with what I'm going to do around that. So anyway, that's what's coming. And I just wanted to really take a few minutes to explain it to everybody and let everybody know. It's super, super exciting. We've got so many great people. We've got so many amazing conversations coming. The legal one is going to be fantastic. I really like the guy that's going to host it. I think he's going to be amazing. And and I like the, the host that I have lined up, the lady who wants to talk about relationships. She's amazing as well super energetic and she's very thoughtful about this so i think that's going to be fun and i have a couple of other shows 
obviously still looking for somebody for education, but I have some ideas around some other shows potentially that may come later. And the people I've been talking to about hosting those potentially are also, they would make amazing hosts. So hopefully I can work that out. In the meantime, that's pretty much what's going on. So everybody, I hope you stick with me. We're going to, we're really going to try and up our game. If I can get a couple of sponsors on board, what that will also, what one of the things I want to do is I want to start to record more video podcasts in person. And if we had a sponsor, that would enable us to get some studio time where we could actually have the people come in and sit down and talk to them face to face. And I think face to face conversations would be much better. And I've produced some face to face uh, recorded shows for some of my clients. And I really like the energy that it brings and I, I like how it feels and I like the way the conversation goes and, and I just like the whole, I like, I like it much better. It's much better to do it that way if you can versus remote. We've just done remote because that's what we, that's, that's all we could do. So again, it's time to take the next step and to you know, start really recording in a studio where we can control everything. We control the lights, the sound, so it'll look beautiful and sound amazing. But the conversations, I think, will be different because it's just different when you're in person. And I really want to get to the point where I can sit down with someone and have a longer conversation. So we're not, you know, we're it, it's not crammed in someone's day. They've set aside a couple of hours to come. We can sit down maybe have a drink beforehand or something, just relax, have a chat, and then just have a really good conversation. And if we're into it, then the conversation can run a little bit long. And then, you know, we, we see where it goes. So look for some of that later this year. I, I, I'm, I won't be doing it yet. So it won't be before the end of the summer, but perhaps in the autumn when we come back, I might have the opportunity to do that a few times. And, um, and I think that'll be really good. So something to look forward to. I think that was everything I wanted to talk about. So I think that's it for me for today. So stick with me. Um, give me feedback. I'm always available on LinkedIn. And I'm pretty easy to find, even though it's David Brown, if you just search for Future Hand Media or you search for the podcast Creatives with AI or Women with AI or with AI FM. All of that will link you directly back to me and you can just reach out and I would really, really like to hear your feedback if you have it, if you think I'm crazy, if you think I'm smart, if you love it, if you hate it, let me know any which way and any feedback is amazing. So that's all for today and I'm now going to go sit in the sun and have a cocktail, I think. So have a good evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Creatives with AI is a proud member of the AI Podcast Network. To stay up to date with current episodes and show information, subscribe to their newsletter at podcastnetwork.ai. And don't forget to follow the show on your favorite podcast platform so you'll always get the episodes as soon as they're available. Thanks again for listening and stay curious. curious.